My name is Honza Kourilka. I am from 240 Software, uh, based in Prague, Czech Republic. Today I will be talking about optimization and audit. Uh, in English, uh, as I found in the dictionary online, uh, as an adverb, this word has two meanings. Uh, I will start talking about the first meaning which basically has the correct German uh, translation, which is the word schnell. So, what's schnell enough? What's fast enough? In this case, uh, I try to search the web uh, for the current opinions, what's fast enough, what's considered fast enough. And this is mostly about websites, but I will apply the same rules to FileMaker. The user ideally expects response to a mouse click to be as fast as I blink. The first story I am going to talk about is about the company which is called Logrea Dance Academy. This is a dance, uh, dance school based in New York, which was founded in uh, 1986 by two talented dance lecturers from Austria. This company is um, relatively small and they have a FileMaker solution developed by uh, one developer, Daniel Dobkin. And the solution is uh, small enough that they don't even use FileMaker server because they didn't need it. They run it on a FileMaker Pro and host it by FileMaker Pro to five other users in the local network. And that was enough for a very long time. But when Daniel turned to us and asked for help, he had a quite difficult situation because it took up to 40 seconds to navigate from one layout to second layout. Do you remember that uh, ideal time for page load? It's one and a half second. For example, this button was supposed to lead them to classes, so they basically found a student and the student wanted to know when is the next available class for him to attend. How many times a day you switch layouts? What do you think? Any guesses? 200? 200? Okay, I'll keep the number 200 and I'll return to it later. When we started helping Daniel to optimize this, uh, this is the process that we used for the optimization. Uh, this is process that comes from my practice in a manufacturing company where I learned how optimizing production lines work. And the, the way they do it is that they find a bottleneck and they fix the bottleneck. And this is the first bottleneck we found. So when we measured everything that was happening there, we discovered that there is this single script called tap script level one. And out of the 40 seconds, I think it was 35 seconds was spent in this script. So we uh, contacted Daniel, told him we find bottleneck in this to be this script. So the first thing he did to speed up the navigation system was that he replaced all these graphical fields for the layouts and for, for the buttons. He replaced that with a button bar, which is the new feature that was added to FileMaker 14. And when we measured the results, you discovered that he cut the time down to average 25, 21 seconds. So almost half of the original time, but 21 seconds is still too long, right? So, because we didn't uh, see that as an acceptable result, we didn't think that it's optimized enough, so we again measured everything, even in more detail, and we found the next bottleneck. And we identified a single script step that was taking about 10 seconds every time it was executed. And it was executed uh, more than once for a layout switch. The purpose of this set field was recording the current switch, so adding something to the history. 
And the reason why this was slow, which we identified, was this relationship. Because the current layout was based on the students' table, and the navigation history was three relationships away from the current layout, which uh, two of those were not simple one-to-one -one relationships, but complex predicates being used. Even by writing more code, we made it run faster because instead of writing to, through relationship, we simply switched to the target layout with target table occurrence, created a new recorder, and set the fields directly. So instead of going through complex relationship, we operated in the target table directly. And just this simple modification resulted in cutting the time down to four seconds. The goal was to get as much uh, speed up as possible uh, at the lowest possible time. The point of this help was find the bottleneck, find what is important to focus on, and give the customer the guidance, the time that he saved for the users. He has five users, three, 30 seconds per layout switch. And let me assume that they were switching layouts 100 times a day. You mentioned 200 times, so I think this, this, number, must be, uh, this number must be right. I believe it's much higher, as you said, 200 makes sense. And if I think about my work with FileMaker, I definitely switch layout at least 10 times a minute if I intensively work with the, with the solution. Then if you count five days a week, you get 300,000 seconds per month saved. That's 1,000 hours a year. And you can have us optimize your solution. We consider our work to be done when the optimization is sufficient. That's all for now. I would like to thank you for watching this video to the end. And because I value your time you have spent watching it, let me give you 30 minutes of my time in return. Just use this link and schedule one free 30-minute consultation. I look forward to talking to you.